Tesla's Optimus robot has just leveled up, and it's not subtle. Over the Black Friday weekend, Tesla showcased a brand new, highly advanced hand design for Optimus, and the capabilities on display are mind-blowing. From catching tennis balls with remarkable precision to hints at upcoming autonomous features, the latest iteration of the 22 degree of freedom Gen 3 hand and forearm marks a significant leap forward in humanoid robotics. Elon Musk also teased something big on the horizon. By next quarter, Optimus won't just catch objects through teleoperation, it'll do it autonomously. Let's break down what this means, why it's significant, and how it places Optimus at the forefront of robotic innovation. The new hand. What's changed? First things first, let's talk about the hardware. Tesla's Optimus now features the third generation hand design with 22 degrees of freedom in the hand and forearm. This marks the first time we're seeing this new configuration on a fully assembled robot, and it's impressive to say the least. Improved dexterity and range of motion. The 22 degree of freedom setup means each finger joint can move independently with a range of motion comparable to a human hand. This level of dexterity allows Optimus to perform intricate tasks that were previously out of reach for robots, like catching a tennis ball mid-flight. During the Black Friday demo, Optimus showcased this capability, effortlessly catching a tennis ball with precision and grace. This wasn't just for show, it demonstrated the hand's advanced actuation and sensor systems, which are crucial for real-world tasks. Enhanced sensor systems. The new hand features an array of tactile and pressure sensors, allowing Optimus to gauge the weight, texture, and positioning of objects. This is critical for handling delicate items or performing tasks that require a nuanced touch, like assembling small electronics or assisting with medical procedures. Dexterity is one of the most challenging aspects of humanoid robotics. Achieving human-like hand function requires not just advanced mechanics, but also sophisticated control systems. With this new hand, Tesla has made significant progress towards creating a robot that can perform a wide range of tasks with minimal human intervention. Teleoperated Catch – A Glimpse into the Future During the recent demo, Optimus's ball-catching performance was teleoperated, meaning a human was controlling the robot remotely. However, Elon Musk quickly clarified that this was just a test to evaluate the hand's actuation and sensor systems. The real game-changer? By next quarter, Optimus will be able to perform this task autonomously. What does this mean? Autonomous operation involves the robot making real-time decisions based on sensor data and pre-trained AI models. For Optimus to catch a moving object without human input, it needs to identify the object, use computer vision to detect and track the ball's trajectory, calculate timing and position, predict where the ball will be and position its hand accordingly, adjust, grip and force, apply the right amount of pressure to catch the ball without dropping or damaging it. This is no small feat. Catching a moving object involves complex calculations and split-second decision-making. If Optimus can achieve this autonomously, it would demonstrate a significant advancement in AI and robotics. Autonomous capabilities are the ultimate goal for humanoid robots. Teleoperated tasks are useful for testing and development, but real-world applications require robots that can operate independently. The fact that Tesla is aiming for autonomous ball catching within the next quarter suggests that Optimus is rapidly approaching this milestone. Applications beyond the demo. While catching a tennis ball is impressive, the real implications of this new hand go far beyond simple demonstrations. Let's explore some potential applications for this technology. Industrial automation. One of Tesla's primary goals with Optimus is to deploy it in manufacturing environments. The new hand's dexterity and sensor systems make it ideal for tasks like assembly line work, handling small components, tightening screws, or fitting parts together, quality control, inspecting products for defects using tactile feedback, material handling, moving fragile or irregularly shaped objects without causing damage, autonomy, the road ahead, 
Elon Musk's promise of autonomous ball catching by next quarter is ambitious, but it's not out of reach. Tesla has a track record of pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and Optimus is no exception. What needs to happen? For Optimus to achieve true autonomy, Tesla needs to focus on several key areas. AI training. Optimus's neural networks need to be trained on vast data sets to recognize and respond to different objects and scenarios. Real-time processing. The robot must process sensor data and make decisions in real time. This requires powerful onboard computing and efficient algorithms. Continuous learning. Optimus should be able to learn from its experiences, improving its performance over time. Challenges. Ahead, achieving autonomy is no easy task. Some of the biggest challenges include unpredictable environments. Robots must be able to adapt to changes in their surroundings, such as obstacles or sudden movements. Complex interactions. Handling multiple objects or interacting with humans requires advanced decision-making capabilities. Safety and reliability. Autonomous robots must be safe to operate around humans, with fail-safes to prevent accidents. Why it matters. Autonomy is the holy grail of robotics. Once Optimus can operate independently, it will unlock a world of possibilities, from factory work to home assistance. Tesla's timeline suggests that we're closer to this reality than ever before. How Optimus compares to other humanoids? Tesla isn't the only company working on humanoid robots. Let's see how Optimus stacks up against some of the competition. Boston Dynamics Atlas. Atlas is famous for its athletic abilities, running, jumping, and even doing backflips. However, it's primarily a research project. Optimus, on the other hand, is being developed with real-world applications in mind. Tesla's focus is on creating a practical, affordable robot that can be mass-produced. 1X Technologies NEO NEO is another promising humanoid robot designed for dynamic movement. It's lighter than Optimus and reportedly has a higher strength-to-weight ratio. However, NEO is still in the prototype phase, while Optimus is already performing public demos. Agility Robotics Digit Digit is designed for industrial applications, particularly in warehouses. It's highly mobile and can handle rough terrain, but it doesn't have the same human-like appearance or dexterity as Optimus. Tesla's focus on creating a robot that looks and moves like a human sets Optimus apart. So, the unveiling of Tesla's new hand for Optimus marks a significant step forward in humanoid robotics. With 22 degrees of freedom, advanced sensors, and the promise of autonomous operation, Optimus is shaping up to be a game-changer. Elon Musk's vision of a future where robots assist with everything from manufacturing to personal care is becoming more tangible with each update. The next quarter will be crucial. If Optimus can catch a ball autonomously, it will demonstrate a level of dexterity and intelligence that few robots have achieved. As we look ahead, one thing is clear. Tesla's Optimus is not just a concept or a prototype. It's a glimpse into the future of robotics and that future is closer than we think.